Hi, this is Ali Shamo, and uh, I personally thank you for the purchase of OnlyFlyingMachines.com's X650 V4 RTF version. Uh, now, when you receive this quadcopter, it is already tweaked, set up, and uh, configured for the best flight performance and also flight tested outdoors. Now, before uh, you actually go flying, you need to follow these steps. Number one, unfold your quadcopter nicely and gently. And the propellers will not be installed, so follow the user manual and I will also post the user manual on my website or you can email me and I can send you the user manual. So install the propellers counterclockwise and clockwise accordingly. First thing you need to do is to find out which one is your forward section. Look at the NASA GPS, there is an arrow on it, the arrow pointing to the forward direction. Also your NASA controller is pointing to the forward directions. Uh, later you can also add some stickers which are easy to uh, denote forward from backward. So if this is your forward, your forward right is counterclockwise, forward left is clockwise, backward left is counterclockwise, backward right is clockwise. So once again follow your user manual and you can easily install these propellers. You can see counterclockwise, clockwise, counterclockwise, clockwise. Once you install the propellers, it's very easy to assemble your landing skids. They will simply fit nice and good. All right, one, and two. Later you can move them forward and backward so they don't appear in your camera view. All right. Simply speaking, under the frame. You can easily mount them. You will hear some crackling noises from the carbon fiber tube here, so do not do not use too much force. But uh, simply speaking, this will this will snug fit nice and good. So now the landing gear is installed. Now look at the NASA GPS; it's pointing this way, so that is your forward section, and your camera gimbal will point towards it. Once again, these things will simply fit nice and good on those carbon fiber tubes under here. There you go. Now make sure to, uh, according to your CG or your camera view, you can always move the camera gimbal forth and back to balance your CG. Your battery will be mounted right here. All right, you can see now your camera gimbal is right. Now that your camera gimbal has been installed, remember your roll servo. This is your roll, okay? your roll servo will be connected to F1 port of your NASA so it's very easy there's enough space you can connect it to your F1 port and on F2 port we have already connected uh, cable the extension so your pitch servo will simply connect to this port we have already calibrated and configured your camera gimbal uh, to be controlled and stabilized by the GI NASA so it shouldn't be any problem after you have connected it if you have connected it right it should work right last but not least your NASA LED is hanging so you can simply stick it using a zip tie or a tape double sided tape anywhere you want make sure to stick it at a position where you can actually see uh, the LED clearly and after that matching the polarity there's a JST connector coming through NASA LED connected to the JST port on the parallel cable. That's it. Everything is perfectly set.
we have already set your radio for everything but before you actually fly go out in the field and before doing any flight please configure calibrate the GPS and compass and then you are good to fly I would highly recommend that you study the DJI NASA user manual and configure your quadcopter according to your taste I would appreciate that once you receive it you can actually set a time with me to have a Skype session and I can give you final instructions and of, and of course after that you have any questions please feel free to contact me anytime and I will be really really happy to help you out with the use of X650 V4 and configuration of anything that you are confused about. Thank you very much once again and I hope you will shoot great videos.